Hello and welcome to 100% Leicester. I am over here to talk to you about Liverpool Football Club under Jurgen Klopp. I'm going to start off, I'm going to tell you what I think the team that we're going to put out against. I think we're going to set up slightly differently. Look, I was at the Leicester game last season where Vardy scored that goal at your ground. My word, what a goal. But I was also with the game on Boxing Day where we had a game plan and we beat you with that game plan. I don't think we're going to play like that this time. I think we're going to take it to you a little bit more. Team to do that, Simon Mignolet, the much maligned in Simon Mignolet. He ain't our first choice goalkeeper anymore, I don't think, anyway, to be perfectly honest with you. I think it's this man, Luis Carrius, but he broke a bone in his hand in pre-season. He's back in full training. Don't think we're going to risk him for this game. I think one of the best right-backs in the league, Nathaniel Klein, will play where he is supposed to play. Joel Matip, a free signing from the Bundesliga, from Schalke, going in at centre-back. Joined by Dejan Lovren, who, by the way, now has put his troubles, I think, behind him. I think they have got the makings of a really strong centre-back partnership. And here's here's a strange one. I don't know if you follow Liverpool at all. Jimmy Milner, I think, is our starting left back now. Um, you know, we've had Alberto Moreno there. You'll have hopefully watched it all. I'm not bothered if you've watched it or not. The Europa League final where Moreno gifts his former club severe a goal and we end up losing that game. Man, I was there. It was horrible. Trust me on that. Uh, most Liverpool fans wrote off Albi Moreno. He's still got a part to play. He's just not in the defence. He is a terrible defender. Going forward, he's good with the ball. But Jimmy Milner, I believe, now is our strongest choice at left-back. We probably should have signed someone in the transfer window. Unfortunately for Liverpool fans and Liverpool Football Club, we never. We've been left with a 31-year-old James Milner to fill that void against... What could be Riyad Mahrez? Yeah, looking forward to watching that unfold. Uh, I think Jordan Henderson's going to start in sort of a deeper of a three. And I believe it's going to be Adam Lallana and Jeannie Wijnaldum in that three there. I'll talk about how we play a little bit later on. I'll go through the starting 11 first of all. So Jordan Henderson, uh, really, that's Emery Chan's position, to be honest with you. But he picked up an ankle injury in the early rounds of the League Cup or whatever it's called nowadays. And as such, I think that we're not going to risk him as well. He could be back, but I'm not sure he will be. And in that case, it's going to be Henderson. If Emery Chan's fit, it's either Wijnaldum or Henderson for me. Drop out uh, and one of them. I think Henderson would start. Uh, Sadio Mane, we pay £30 million pounds for him. He's going to go on the right hand side. Phil Coutinho was going on the left and I believe you know we started with Divock Origi on Boxing Day against you last season he had a really you know good game before he got injured we brought on Christian Benteke he ends, ends up getting the winner he worked really well he's travelled to Belgium Roberto Firmino massive signing has been playing this false nine for us and I think because he never travelled to Brazil for their games against Colombia and stuff that actually he's had all week with Jürgen Klopp and I think that he'll be the man given the nod on the day as he has been for the rest of the season in fairness yeah so how the Liverpool attack well Okay, um, what we tend to do is we tend to split the centre-backs out, right? And Jordan Henderson or Emre Chan actually would probably tend to drop a little bit deeper. We're a little bit asymmetrical. We tend to float over onto this left-hand side. Uh, Roberto Firmino tends to drop deep and Sadio Mane would do something like that. If you looked at an average positions for a Liverpool squad, this is probably what we're looking at. And where we, where we build our attacks, to be honest with you, is with this man here and this man here. Uh, there's infographics going around where you can see that they're the most influential players on, on the pitch for us as far as the ball where, where the ball is and where the where the passing lanes are and stuff so James Milner will be looking for Wijnaldum or Coutinho that is one of the most passes you'll see or this here one of these two here is where we look to build what we're trying to do with this asymmetrical stuff is we're trying to take the ball over to the left hand side and create space for this man our new signing Sadio Mane so what we do is we roll your team over we look to break that sort of uh, low block that you guys use, the two banks of four, uh, and we try and create space over on this side, and that's for Sadio Mane. Much like you used to do with Riyad Mahrez in, in a lot of respects, what we're doing with Sadio Mane is creating one-on-one -on -one opportunities for him, where he can try and go past your man, drive at him, get him on the back foot and beat a man, then get the ball in. And it's about Adam Lallana and Gini Wijnaldum, Phil Coutinho and Roberto Firmino moving forward into that, into that space as he moves forward. Expect to see a lot of Adam Lallana driving forwards and Roberto Firmino coming back equally expect to see these guys swapping positions throughout the game these three are completely fluid and completely interchangeable and that's the exciting thing that Mane's brought to us he's added pace which has been much much needed but he's also added a flexibility to our attack if one guy's not getting that much joy you know it tends to work better to be honest with you against man-to-man -man low block uh, sorry it tends to work better against man-to-man -man low block teams uh, so I don't know whether you guys do zonal 
or you do man to man, but the idea is with the zonal stuff, they're passing people on. So your defenders, you're obviously not going with a man. What happens is when Phil Coutinho comes into that space and, River, and Mane, let's say he was in that position, goes out, in a zonal, you pass it off to the man next to you. The, pro, the, 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 the success that we've had so far this season is when we're playing man-to-man -man teams. And again, I'm, I don't know how Leicester play man-to-man, -man, so I'll let you guys tell me in the comments section if you wouldn't mind. What happens is when you get that man-to-man, -man, does your right-back go in with Phil Coutinho? Does your centre-back come out with Mane? They, these are where we create opportunities and create spaces and create passing lanes to be able to get through those two banks of four. So expect to see a lot of these guys on the ball. You know, this guy will be covering that space there. Um, maybe Maybe we'll be a little bit wary of your attack because the way that you guys transition from a, a fully defensive position into an attacking one, using the likes of Drinkwater, using the likes of Vardy's pace, is incredible and it hurt us last season at your ground, you know, the King Power. That's why I think Carius is our number one keeper because Mignolet's starting position is back is in his area. Carius, when we're attacking and, and counter-attacking teams against us, Carius is 15 yards outside of the D. And that's where, uh, hopefully, this season we'll see the introduction of Carius into that. So when the people are playing the counter-attack on us, our goalkeeper can get out quickly to the ball. That's why Mignolet, I don't think, is going to be our first-choice keeper. So expect to see this man is our key man. He's the guy who's making us click at the minute. Hopefully, he'll be the guy in his first appearance at Anfield that the crowd are just we're salvating to see you know we really want to see Mane we've seen him we've played 15 games on the bounce away from Anfield now going back to the last game of the season against West Brom in the Premier League then we played Sevilla in the Europa League final we've had nine pre-season friendlies all away from home we've had four games so far this season because we've got the new main stand opening I expect to see the Anfield crowd really up for this game and hopefully off the back of that expect to see the players really up for this game and that's why I think that today, uh, on Saturday what we're going to do is we're going to going to go after Leicester City, rightly or wrongly. It's gonna, there's going to be goals. You guys don't concede a lot. We concede a lot. I think we're going to have to outscore you if we are going to win. Uh, I hope you enjoy your day, but I hope, honestly, that you go back, you know, crying into your pints or whatever. I like Leicester City's cover. I love the narrative of the story of last season. It was a fantastic season for football because Leicester City won that game. But I tell you what, Liverpool don't write us off this season because I truly believe we've got a squad and a first eleven that can challenge you guys and the other big teams in the league for a Champions League spot. And hopefully this is the team that goes out and beats Leicester. Let me know your thoughts, of course, in the comments section below. Thanks for taking the time to watch it. If you haven't already, subscribe to 100% Leicester. They are the bee's knees when it comes to Leicester football content on YouTube, on Facebook, and you know where else. So thank you very much for joining me, and I'll see you, hopefully, after the game with a big, a smile on my face.